My name is Bobby Brown and I love to paint. As a matter of fact, I love to draw and paint and I make things out of clay sometimes too. And today we're going to talk about watercolor. That's why we have water and colors. And I talked to some of you a year back and we talked about watercolor. So you know some of the rules. You use a lot of water, you get light colors. If you use a little water, you get bright colors. And we didn't talk about blending colors very much, but I think you know that if you mix colors, you get new colors. Um, if I mix yellow and blue, I'll get green. If I mix red and yellow, I'll get orange. So today's project, I want you to think about the colors you like and try some new colors. And you don't even have to use the same colors as me. Um, I'm probably going to use my grown-up water paints because I'm used to them and I have a lot of colors already made. And you might be using your school watercolors, which are also really good because you can see I've used these too. And this is a new one I bought for myself that has only six colors, but you know what? With six colors I can paint almost anything. I've got red and yellow, so I have orange. I have blue and yellow, so I can make green. There's no purple in here, but I can make purple with blue and red. So it's a lot of fun to mix colors. Now today, you might want to make kind of a peachy orange color. And I did that by mixing red and orange. And I made a peachy orange, kind of an orangey pink. It looks pretty bright here. But when I paint with it, I'm gonna paint with lots of water, so it is pale pink. And we don't have black in my watercolor set. You might have black in yours. So I make black sometimes by mixing a reddish brown with a dark blue, and I can make my own black. I'm just mentioning these so when you go back over the video and think about it, you can try some of these things too. So that's one thing we talked about today. We're gonna to talk about color. Then I want to say, what are we going to paint? You don't have to paint when I'm painting, but I drew some birds a while ago and they were so cute. They're baby swallows. You can pretend they're baby robins if you want to. Of course, robins will be orange, orange-breasted robins with a brown cap or cape. They have little capes kind of like Batman, don't they? And my swallows are going to be peachy orange tummies with a dark bluey black cape. And you can pick any colors you want to use. Um, these are the colors that I did. As a matter of fact, this is a big painting and I haven't even finished it. Remember, there are six swallows and I did three. And I'll keep working on it. And they're in a nest. Now, swallows have a real muddy nest with lots of straw. That means you get to make a lot of fun scrambling to make the nest. And uh, I painted three of them on this nest. And I didn't bring that thing. I'll just do something else. Um, and this is where you get to take an old credit card or a piece of cardboard from a cereal box, you stick it in the paint, and stick it on here and make a real messy straw-covered nest. That's one of the things we'll do today. And we're going to make three little swallows. If you want to make one little swallow, that's okay too. You can do different things with your pictures. So I actually made a print. This is like, printing is like taking a potato and cutting it in half and carving a design and then you take your potato with the paint and you make things. I did this with a piece of plastic and I carved the birds and I made a whole pile of prints. I made about 20. And that's another fun project for another day, okay? But right now, I have a simple version I really like of our three little birds. And we'll just leave them both up here so you can look at the colors, because this one's not very dark. But what do we see when we look at these birds? One of the first things that my grandchildren see are they have feet. They've got creepy, clawy feet, and they're, those are fun to draw. I just made little short lines for their, they had three fingers on each foot, 
And um, first thing I probably did was draw a line down the middle of my page, not the middle, kind of halfway, one, two, three. I divided the paper into three, and the bottom third is the line that they're sitting on. It's also their nest. And then we have three birds. What's the main shape of these birds? Well, let's talk about shapes. I think it's pretty close to an egg shape. And an egg shape could be a little hard, except remember, you can do whatever you like, and you don't have to be perfect. It's fun. Just make a shape. If I want to make an egg shape, it can be crooked. If you make a snowman, is he always perfect, or is he a little bit wobbly? If I make a two-ball two snowman, not a three-ball, and then I go around the outside with, I have an egg shape. That's pretty good. It's okay. Here's a little egg shape. And then I could practice making an egg shape without the circles. You know what? I could even make a pear. Have you ever drawn a pear? And that'll work too. You, know, you pick your favorite shape to make three little birds in a row. And those three little birds aren't all just standing looking at you. One of them's looking that way. And one, one of them might be looking the other way. So if your shape doesn't look perfect, it's probably perfect if you just make his, him look a different way. It makes it more interesting, okay? So we're going to start with the shape and whatever color you want. I'm getting a black all over my hands, aren't I? I'm gonna start with, this is a quick shortcut I do when I'm doing games. I have a spray bottle with water and I spray my paints to make them all soft and ready to use. And I have a whole bunch of brushes. I might use a big brush at some point, and I'll probably use a small brush for shapes and a middle-sized brush. Watercolor paper, so I don't want to fold it. And if you would do copy paper and it gets all wiggly for you, that's okay, it will dry later. Sometimes I put a clothespin on it to keep it flat. So I'm just going to draw a quick little line for where the edge of the baby bird's nest could be, about a third, yeah, about here. And the other thing I'm going to do, paper plates can be really useful. If you want the nest to be kind of round, you can take an old paper plate and make it that way. That's a little bit bright, but that's why I like the big brush, or bigger floppy brushes, because I can just kind of bleed the color out. You don't have to add more paint, but you could. I want the line to look like it's just barely there. And I'm going to use a lot of water because this is the nest and the nest is made of mud. So if it looks like mud, fine. Lots of paper towels are a good idea, okay? I wipe my brushes on the paper towel. I keep my hands and a paper towel handy. And if I get too much water, I can do this. That works too. I took too much paint away, didn't I? Yeah. So when you think you have your nest the way you want it, a little more. We've got three little birds to draw on top of that nest. I'll take a sort of skinny brush and I'll take, now if you've got a paint container with a lid, that's a good place to mix your paints. There's some orange, really a reddish orange, and a little yellow. And to really make it look peachy, I'll take just a bit of the purpley red. And that looks kind of dark, doesn't it? But I'm gonna go to a softer brush and a lot of water. And that's why I have paper towels, I can test. That's about dark enough. Maybe I don't want it that dark, I'll put more water. All right, three little birds, three little eggs. Here's, yeah, too light. <laughs> There's an egg, kinda. Like I say, you don't have to worry too much. 
and another egg, and he's going to be leaning. I'm going to have him leaning in like they're good buddies. Their heads are going together. And then the other guy, he's going to stand off here a little bit by himself. What do we need to do to make our birds look round and fluffy? Well, we take, ever seen a, a letter C, but kind of upside down? Just do something like that. Or a U, I guess a U is a better word for it, isn't it? <laughs> Got a U, and once again, I'm looking at, that's dark and that's white. Let's bleed it a little in between. Take some clear water and smoosh it around. They start to look like they're actually round and fluffy. And if we've got this much done, now we can do the feet. That's the fun part. This shouldn't be too wet at this point. If it's too wet, take your paper towel and blot it up a little. I'm gonna get a teeny brush and some dark, dark color. Now I like to use my dark indigo blue because I'm making swallows that are kind of almost navy indigo blue. It looks black, doesn't it? And we're gonna do the feet first. He's got one, two, three. Huh, that's easy. Like drawing an arrow. One, two, three. Maybe add a little extra claw on one foot. It is spreading a little bit because it's wet there, but that's easy to fix with a paper towel. Then we'll do this guy's claws. He's facing that way. So maybe his foot will face that way too. One, two, three. I'm gonna make those darker now. Nice thing about watercolor is you can just keep putting layers on top and get darker and darker. So it's okay if you start with a light, light color, just get darker. And this fellow's probably facing the other way out. It's kind of in the middle, oh well. So they have feet and they have tummies. We've got a couple things to talk about with shapes because what do we see on the faces? We're not gonna worry about nose, noses for these birds. If you insist on a nose, you go ahead and put a nose on. But we do have those eyes. Let's practice a little. If I make an eye that looks like that, that's okay, but we want to have happy sparkles in their eyes. So make it more like a Cheerio with a dot, a white dot in the middle, okay? Make two dark, dark Cheerios with a sparkle in the middle, and there's his eyes. You might not be keeping up with me, that's okay. You can take your time later. I'm just gonna try and give you everything in a hurry. What goes between the eyes? We have a beak. Beak is what we call a mouth's bird. Now, when you smile, you've got a smile that's kinda like this. Maybe your smile is like this. These birds have a pointy smile. They have points on their beaks. So they're gonna have a smile that's more like a diamond beak, diamond shape. You know how to draw a diamond? It's really just a square that's sideways. And if you wanna make it fancy, you can do other things with it. You could even put a little red tongue in there if you want to. But the beaks can be like a diamond. Or you can just do half of a diamond. Notice that some of those beaks look like the letter V. And that's when you might just want to put him a little bit of a nose, just a couple things to breathe on. And you could make his V into a smile by doing it like this. I'm giving you several choices. You're the artist. You figure out what look you like. This guy's got kind of a shallow V, and this guy's got another kind of V. Uh, somewhere I had a one with his mouth open, probably this one. His mouth is open like a, a diamond. You might just like to experiment on a piece of paper for a bit. And then this guy, he's not even, he's just looking sideways, so his beak is a stick. <laughs> That's easy enough. 
draw one eye with a stick. You can do it this way or straight, or you might even say he's the talkative one, so he's like that. All right, that's a quick look at eyes and beaks because that's what we're going to do next. And I might have to turn this a little so I can see what I'm doing. All right, an eye. Put them up there somewhere fairly close to the top. And I'm not worried about if his eyes are round or not. Round is good, but they could be a little different. Gonna make them like that. And then I'll give them a mouth. Let's see, this guy's gonna have his mouth open because he's talkative. And this one will have a kind of a smile like that. And maybe this guy's just got, he's talking too. We have three different smiles, that works. Now the other thing we see is that they have a cap and a cape, but they also have more color around their face. So you can take a light, lots of water. Okay, I'll get, some, get the yellow out of that. Lots of water with your darker blue or your brown or whatever you're liking and make a gray. And let's give him a bit of a bib, just like a bib that your baby brother would wear. It's going to drip a little, then you grab your paper towel. I kind of like it dripping a little. And they're, they're sitting on their nest, so they're gonna have a shadow. So bring that shadow down here too. It's fun to play with shadows. They make a big difference sometimes. Maybe a little bit across his forehead. They have bangs. But next we will do the dark color and we're going to give them their Batman cape. I assume kids this age know Batman. All right, I've got a medium sized brush and lots of dark, dark, dark. You can do it light, light, light to begin with and make it darker later if you want to. So here's his cape, just enough to, looks like a wing. Yes, they're still wet. And like so. It's like a letter C and then a letter C backwards. And then give him his little pointed front of his face, just like Batman. And it even comes in here a little bit like Batman. All right, that's not too bad. Let's see, well this guy's talking sideways, so his point is gonna go sideways. And there's his wing, or his cape. Sometimes I think they look cute if you just give them a little bit of hair that needs brushing. And then this one who's looking straight forward, so he needs his cape, and he needs his bangs, or his hood. Okay. You know what, they're pretty close to finished, aren't they? Maybe I'll put him all the way down like so, but you can make as much or as little as you want out of that. But all we have decks left to do, we've got the sky and we've got the nest. I'm gonna make a lot of brownie Brownie colored paint here. I have two or three kinds of brown. You might want to use orange and red, but I want to make a big puddle of it because I'm gonna take a little bit of cardboard or a piece of a stick or anything you have kicking around that is, you know, your mom doesn't care if it gets mucky and you can throw it away. This is just a piece of card and I'm gonna get paint on it and make straws on the nest. Get that out of the way. You can make really strong, dark colored straws. Sometimes you might take your paper towel and put it to work. Yeah, 
I think I need more paint and a darker color. I think you will do a better job of this than me. I need more and darker colors. But, and some people might even want to go get their crayons at this point and use crayons on top of it. Let the paper dry first, okay? So, well, how are we gonna do the sky? What do you think? This is not the best card. I'll tell you what, if you cut a piece of paper off an old cereal box, that works great. But the sky, these guys are inside a, maybe a barn or they're by a bridge and they've got a blue background. And these guys have got a bit of a bluey green background. But you know what? You don't want to mess up your pretty birds. This is where we're gonna use the paper towel again, the paper plate. Because if you can cover the birds with your paper plate and turn the painting upside down, you know what happens with watercolor? When you use lots of water, it goes down. I'm going to spray my paper with the spritzer, and you can use a big brush for that if you like. And I'm going to find a nice blue, not that one, this one. <laughs> It's already dripping, see all the drips? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get some blue that doesn't have some other color in it. There. Okay, there's my sky. I wanna keep the sky behind the nest. And it's okay if I just do something big like that because now I'm gonna get my big brush with lots of just plain water and make it go, make it run. Good idea to have a tablecloth or a paper towel on the table at this point. And it, again, if you look at the sky, it never looks the same way two times, does it? It's always changing. You might want to wait till it dries and come back later to do some of this. I'm just being careful and putting a little bit of sky in between each guy. And because we don't want to get Jen's table all dirty, I'm gonna take a paper towel to it. But let's take a peek. If it's not too wet and it doesn't run, there's your sky. And you can paint your nest all the way over here. Maybe you'll paint a green field and a couple of cows. But there's your birds. Did you make a robin or did you make a swallow? Well, maybe you made a bluebird with blue and red. I think you should send me a copy of your picture, don't you? You can send your pictures to the rangers. We'd love to see them, okay? Bye.